Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to concentrate on the interior. We added some stairs and then we added some furniture and then some toilets and um, sink. And then we finished the laundry room. And then we're going to continue working on this. Um, what I'm planning to do is to add in the furniture and then add in the door. So now let's load more families where you just need to go back here, go to furniture, and then let's add in some seating. I want to add in the family room seating. So I'm going to use M Sofa Corbo. So we have actually two living room. We have one here and then one here, which is the family room. Let's add in the chair right here. And then from here, we could edit, duplicate here, sofa number two, and we could change the width. So we could just put this one a little bit bigger for the space. So that's perfect. We can move this one more at the back like so. As you can see, we have a lot of space right here. Load family. And then here we can add in. So you just go back, go to tables, and then coffee table. Press open. And then here, type in CM, and we could extend this one. Let's see the different kinds of width that they have, which is too big. So now we could just click on duplicate. It's a good idea to keep on duplicating what the standards that they have. It's the reason that um, at least you still have the original. And you can go back there. That's why here I'm going to create another one. Coffee table. And then press OK. And then now we can change this. So the height, we're not going to bother with the height. The length is perfect, but the width, so the width is not. So what we could do is we could put this one at 600. It's too thin now, so. Now we could just put this one at 700. And I'm happy with that. We can move this one in the middle. And that's good. Click on load family again. Let's add in the TV. Press open. CM. Click it right there. And then here we could make this one bigger. And then we could load in an entertainment system. So storage. We have an entertainment center here. Press open. CM. And we could la put it in the middle like that. Let's edit this type. Duplicate. Entertainment system. And then here we could change the width. So for the width, I want it to be, I think, around 4,500. And then the depth is around... 400 or 450 let's see first now it's looking like that which is much better mv to move it on the edge and then here let's change this to 1200 
apply and then OK. Now, the way that you can see it is by creating a or adding a section view and then double clicking it here. As you can see, we, we were able to add in the section. And now you can add in and move it directly in the middle like that. Select that. Maybe we could add in more. So 1500 from the center. Apply and then OK. So now we have more gap at the end. In terms of height, we can also edit that. Um, we can put it all the way to the top, 2800. The reason that is negative 200 from the top because we're going to add in a floor from the top. So we need that space. Here, we could actually put it all the way at the end right here. We just need to know the specific. So 4840. Now you can select this, edit type. And then the width, 4840. Click on Apply and then OK. And then now you just need to move it, MV, and then move it at the end. So now it's perfectly, it's like its own. And as you can see, it's looking like that. So it's it looks a lot better. And then go back to first floor. We can now delete this. And we have a nice entertainment system there. And then now load in. And I want to add in another seating. And just a, a seating that is just a design. So this one, CM. Um, let's add in, let's look for something. So we could basically give it some rotation. RO, select that. And then here, just put in 45. So it's rotated like that. After that, let's add in some side table. So load family, go back here, table, we have a nightstand, and then end table. Let's add that, CM, and then the end table. We need to just add it on this side. And that end table, we can edit. The height is too high. I just want around 45, 450. You can even duplicate this, but I know I'm not gonna, I don't need the default for that. So that the height is 450. Let's go and add in some lighting. So go back, go to lighting, architecture, internal, and then here, let's add in some table lamp. So here I'm going to load this. CM, add it here, but you, you know the height already. So I'm going to add in 450 offset hose height. So that's perfect. Go to load family again and add in a floor lamp. I want this arm extension. Click on open, CM. And then I'm going to copy the 45 degree so I'm just adding it right here and then pressing on my spacebar. 
um, what I'm I'm gonna do is we could add something right here on this corner and then we could move this one so oh, sorry so let's delete this no select that and then drag it on this side so we have something right here like a nook and then let's make this one much better by inserting more go back and then furniture storage again we can have in some storage shelvings right about here and then cm let's add some shelvings at the side here we can keep on adding let's add three and then select them all mv to put it in the corner so that's looking good now i'm going to select everything and select here by holding on shift and then just pushing this one more onto this midpoint right there now it's looking more stack by adding those. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add another sofa onto this side and the coffee table as well. So go back here. We can add in seating and a different sofa. So I'll, I'll use this one cm and then here we can add in another sofa and another sofa right here let's add in the same one cs and the same one like that we can put it in the mid middle like that and then we're good let's load in the door now i'm happy with this so go back here go to the main and click on door and go to residential next is go to one of this and choose the one that you like I'll use the two panel wood, press open, select one, and then hold on shift, select the end, and then press OK. It's just saying that you're loading too much. Say yes. And then I'll go to architecture and then click on the door. It will provide you with the lowest one. Maybe the lowest we can add it right here. Now, I'm just going to add it like there. And then from here, we could change it. I always maintain the height to 2000. So it's up to you, whatever you want. But for me, I just add the 2000 and to be consistent with all. So maybe 700 by 2000 is good for this space, for the storage. And then now select here, CS. 700 is good enough for this one as well. And then this space, I'm just going to press space bar and then add it here. And then I just need to move this one in the middle here. Now that I know that the location of my door. And then I'm going to notch this one as well. Now we're good to get uh, doing good. Um, let's see if we could add in a different door for this part. So let's go to insert load family and then let's add in 
maybe this one the double door exterior click on open I'm going to just load this one 15 by 3000 click open and then see not CM that's a door so click on door and then here it's perfect for this spot for the main entrance I'm going to provide this sliding door as well so there will be a link a second link where you can get those stuff those are extra that um, we have the first link on the part one for the full set of Revit which we have under insert those stuff will be provided as well and also those extra that I'm loading here so here I'm just gonna load this one right here I know it's gonna I'm just adding it here so that we could edit this and then here I'm gonna make this zero 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 in terms of height we're going to put it at 2800 apply and then okay I'm doing that now I I want to measure the height here or the width I want this to be up to here so 4745 here I'm going to select that I'm going to delete this inset the wish um, dimension and then here I'm going to change the width of the sliding door not 6000 but 4745 apply and then OK and then after that you can select that again pick a new host and you'll be able to pick it and then add it right there you want to change it to find so that you will see the handle and that goes around with all the doors as well so delete that the good thing about this one is you can select that and then you can click that in order for it to open so it's a very intuitive family and i wish you guys can use it more and i'm using it more as well it's not something that i i did but i got it from online and i wanted to show you guys what amazing product is that here i'm just going to nudge it um, we're going to add in a, a wall here a curtain wall so let's do that click on curtain and then let's add something like that we need to flip it on the other side because this is where the mullion will be added and then you need to go to modify cut geometry you need to select the wall first and then the curtain wall and it will be removed um, I want you to go to 3d and then from 3d I want you to type in al that's that's aligned we need to get the height of this so I'm going to select that one to that one I know it's it, it will be hard to select the height it's not something that I'm just gonna pull it first like that For some reason it's like acting up so what I'm gonna do first is I don't want it to be right there 
E L and then here cut geometry. So let's cut it let's stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you like the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.